man goes to the story of Haggai in the Bible. There was a time after she fled from a mistress that um, Sarah and Abraham, and she had a little child with her. And she was alone in the desert, and there was no water to give to her little child anymore. She was seated there. There's a particular verse. Um, that's Genesis chapter 16, verse 3. This was Hagar saying this. After the Lord appeared to her when she was alone in the desert, and um, she had no water to give to a little child, and she was wondering, is this the way I'm going to die in this desert with my little boy? And the Lord appeared to her.
is a faithful father. I read before because I believe it's for someone you know looking at the story of Hagar Hagar was a slave in the house of Abraham and Sarah and she was given to Abraham it was not something she wanted you know and she was given to Abraham go and have a child for him and then after having a child being pregnant and having a child you know she felt went through some maltreatments and stuff like that. You know, there are some times in our life it seems as if we've been cheated because one way or the other, she was giving out to Abraham without her own consent. Yes, she may have acted rudely to her mistress, but the truth of the matter was she still did not get a good treatment and then she was sent away with a child. And there she was in the, in the desert with no water or any supply to give to herself and the child and there in that desert the Lord appeared to her you know we all know where the desert is somewhere that, where there's no water where it's dry you see you may be at your own desert point right now you know I've been through such situation when it seems as if all hope is gone and everything is hopeless but then Emmanuel is always there. He shows up. You know, one thing I want us to know is that even all along, he's always there. Even in the desert, he's always there. But sometimes it seems to us as if he's not there, but he's there. But then the Lord had yet to, to, to Hagar and spoke to her. And then Hagar now said, wow, so I, God sees me. So God is here with me. God sees me. I want you to know that God sees you in that situation, in that desert experience. Emmanuel is with you. Even, cons- cons- even considering all the things that is all happening all around us right now. You may be troubled in your spirit. You know, you're, maybe you're, you're concerned about a loved one. Will they survive it? Maybe you've heard that they, they, they have it already. And you're, you're bothered, you're concerned. Or even your concern for your children that you don't want them to catch it. Or even maybe you're, you're distressed because you've lost your job at the season. And you just don't know what is happening. The word this morning is that Emmanuel is with us. Yeah. That Emmanuel is with us. He will not leave us. He's the God that never sleeps and never slumbers. Emmanuel. Hail. Your name be praised, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. 